Hi guys, glad you can make it back. Well today I'm going to be taking off my power stream pump. I gotta tell you, it's pretty easy to take off once I've done it. It only took me about 30 minutes at the most. It doesn't take any really heavy duty tools. All it takes is a simple serpentine belt tool. I found this tool at Harbor Freight. You can pick them up for about 18 bucks. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is pop the hood and we're going to go on the passenger side and uh, just for safety purposes, why don't you go ahead and disconnect the positive side of your battery just because we're going to be working in that area. We don't want to accidentally touch anything to uh, create a short. And what you're going to notice is you're going to notice your water fill for your radiator. Okay, the green arrow is going to show you where the evaporator is at for your air conditioner. The red arrow is your fan belt. We're going to have to remove that. And the blue arrow is your power steering pump. Okay, if you look at the arrow here, that's the top we were looking at. And this is what's going on below it. You can see how the serpentine belt wraps around all the pulleys there. What we're looking for is see the number one, that's the tensioner. And if you can, you can see on the tensioner, there's a little square, it's a half inch. You can put your half inch socket, that's where the red arrow's at. Or by the tool that will fit in the tensioner, once it's in there, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it clockwise or towards the front of the engine. Okay, you can see here, uh, if you look down, it's a little hard to see. Uh, there's a red arrow there where the little square is at. What you're going to do again is put your uh, breaker bar or half inch socket uh, that'll fit in there. Now, what happened to me is I had to buy the tool because of the, uh, there's a tube uh, where the air conditioner runs through and I really don't want to touch that because once you touch it, bend it, break it, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. So just, you know, I just bought the tool and um, you can pick it up at Harbor Freight for like 18 bucks and it's worth it to have it in your repertoire of uh, arsenal of tools there. Um, anyway, and you can see the tool here, how I just slide it in, There's, it comes in two pieces and I'm sticking the half inch part in right now of the bar and then I put the other bar in there to help uh, give it a little more leverage and I turn it to the front of the engine clockwise so I'm going to turn it to the front of the engine and once I pull forward you can see where the red arrow is at my fingers are pushing the top of the serpentine belt off the pulley of the power steering pump Remember, we're only taking off the serpentine belt off the power stream pump pulley. As you can see here, the serpentine belt is off to the side of the power stream pulley. Okay, next what we're going to do is take some hoses off. We don't need to take this hose off. Leave that one on. That's to your radiator. So you don't, take, you don't need to take that off. There's the high pressure hose here. We're going to take that off. That's a uh, 16 millimeter. And there's a bolt in the back there. It's only one bolt, and that's a 13 millimeter bolt, okay? You only have to take off one bolt. Now this hose here we are gonna take off. That goes to your tank, to your power steering pump. Um, so you're gonna take a screwdriver, obviously, and, and, loosen, the, and loosen the hose clamp. Uh, be really careful because it is plastic and you don't wanna break it. I used some vice grips to break the seal. Okay, now we're gonna remove the um, high pressure line. Again, that's a 16 millimeter. Once you got it removed, be very careful how you move this pipe out of the way. You don't wanna bend it. If you bend it, it's gonna be hard to thread it back into the new pump. Now we're going to go to the back and look for that bolt. And you'll see it here. You'll see a red arrow point right at it. I'm trying to get you a good picture of where that bolt's at. You'll see it come up right about now. Look for the red arrow. 
There it is, right there. Okay, so we got the hose off the reservoir and we got the high pressure line off. And now we're going to take the 13 millimeter bolt off. You can see it's starting to get loose. Okay, once you got everything off, the pump is ready to come out. Now you just can't pull the pump straight up. You've got to slightly tilt the top forward and the bottom back. There's a lip that the pump has, and I'll show you here in a second. Okay, you can see here where the bolt's at. Hopefully get some light here. There it is right there. You can see that hole. That's where the bolt goes. That's in the back. And there's the lip that I was talking about. Okay, this is towards the front. Again, I, this is the back of the pump, so this lip is going to be towards the front. Okay, so we got our pump out. I got my pump at an at a auto wrecking yard, so I didn't have to replace the pulleys. If you have to uh, exchange your pulleys, you're going to have to go to a parts store rent uh, a puller and uh, you know remove your pulley and install the new one but I didn't have to do that this way is much easier okay as you can see I was putting some electric uh, electrical tape on the bolt head that way uh, when I put in the socket the bolt doesn't slip out because the bolt is a little heavy so put enough uh, put enough electrical tape so it won't uh, fall out Okay, so now we're tightening up the bolt. Uh, when you tighten it, don't tighten it too tight. Remember, remember that you're tightening it into a aluminum block, so don't tighten it too tight to strip the threads. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have a lot of work in your hands. Okay, once the bolt's tightened up, we're going to go ahead and put our serpentine belt on. So we're going to get the serpentine tool, put it on the square slot that's in the tensioner and we're gonna and we're going to turn it towards the front of the vehicle to loosen up the tensioner so we can slip the serpentine belt on okay you can see how easy the belt went in now we're gonna go ahead and connect our hose into our tank Okay, now that we got our power steering hose connected in the tank, we're going to do the high pressure hose. Again, hopefully you didn't bend this metal hose because it's going to be difficult to get in there. So just go ahead and connect it and that's your 16 millimeter wrench and connect it to the pump. Okay, when tightening this uh, fitting, you don't want it too tight, but obviously you want it tight enough. It is a high pressure hose. Okay, once you've got your battery connected, Make sure you fill your tank with the correct power steering fluid and uh, turn your car on and turn your car all the way to the left, all the way to the right a few times to get the air out and then check again to make sure you have enough power steering fluid. And that's it. You're done. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. Uh, it saved me a lot of money so I'm sure it's going to save you a lot of money. It's really not this hard. Believe me, it's not hard. Anyway, check out my other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on my next video. Until then, we'll see ya. Bye.